Hi, today we're going to be taking you behind the scenes and showing you how to take a YouTube video, the information, the keywords, and make it into a post. I'm going to be using a uh, free WordPress and I'm also going to be using a paid WordPress. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with number one is we're going to go to our free WordPress click in there and add a post and for the sake of uh, actually it easier let's see I'm going to go into my um, my YouTube and I'm going to pick out the video that I want and it's right here how to post a YouTube this is my channel I'm just going to take the title here which is PaySat instead of having to type it in that's what I do Put that in the title and also for search engine optimization. I wanted to, I'm going to show you that these different, there's different heading tags here. I'm going to use my heading one and put the information in there. That's all. Okay, so that is starting the post in the uh, free WordPress. And I'm just going to continue on with this. We're going to go back to the YouTube video. And if you don't have the program VidIQ right now, it would be a good idea to go and get the free version of it because it's still going to give you a lot of really good information. So basically, I'm going to take this. Uh, uh, clip paper clip here right right here with the tags on it and I'm going to take it here to, to the free WordPress into the category and tags and put my tags in here and with my tags being in here now I am going to uh, look at the categories and see. I don't want it to be the uncategorized, so I'm going to have it for the uh, how to post the exact title right there. And I'm going to click publish. Now I could do uh, public or uh, publish immediately. I just want publish immediately. Public is fine. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the YouTube video that you've chosen. Right inside the video, we're going to do a right click and copy the embedded code back to us. And sometimes WordPress will update itself in the, in the middle of you actually doing a post. Go into the HTML information. Make sure that you are not in any computer information. And go down far enough to be able to put your whole iframe from the video, which this is not far enough, as you can see right there. Going to go down a little further, and you will know that it, your video is in there when you have your your tag iframe at the beginning and your tag iframe at the end of your post of your um, embedded code. And I just want to take this out of here. So I'm just going to take that out. Now go back into your visual. You will then see that you have your video now embedded 
in your post. And you have your tags here. Okay. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to just have a little bit of information to, um, to show. So, what I've done is I have made a, a previous video with a post in it. I'm just going to go in here just for now to show you. I'm taking you behind the scenes of my actual website. Uh, this is the website that that's hosted with uh, HostGator. And I'm looking for my posts right now. Okay, so now getting into my posts, I just wanted to um, show you the information that I've already got in here. So my post that I just did was um, Right here, that's the one I was working on right here. Sorry, this is another post that I did. This is where I wanted to go, is in here. I did it previously, and what I did was I took the title from the YouTube, and I put it here in the title, and I also put it here in my um, head tags, for my, um, as you can see in here, it tells you your heading one, heading two, heading three. Um, those all mean something when a search engine um, comes into your website. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, have a look at this right here. This is what I actually used and just copy that. I know it's getting a little confusing right now, so um, basically what I'm doing is just showing you what could be um, available for you to do. Okay, and then I'm going to go into my uh, more options and put my information that I just made and copied into here because this is like an excerpt. Okay. I'm going to update that. Okay, so basically this is your free WordPress, putting your video in here, your information, and also the information that I just put in for that little bit of information, the excerpt, I'm just going to put it 
in here as well. And I'm going to update that. Now, getting back into um, which is the uh, paid for WordPress, I wanted to show you that I've already put the tags in here the same way that I put the tags in for the uh, free site. Um, and I've already added the new category as well. Now, I, one thing that I wanted to show you was that uh, I use a program. It's a plugin. It's called um, Yoast CEO or S. SEO, sorry, not CEO, and um, the difference between the paid WordPress and the free WordPress is the plugins too. Um, with the paid WordPress, you can install a number of any number of plugins that you'd like, but I would like to show you the one that um, I use and the one that is good, and it's free as well. I've just gone to plugins and I'm clicking on the add new. I go to where it says search plugins and type in SEO Yoast. And it'll be probably the first one that comes in. And then you just click on, mine is installed, but it'll say install now. You install it, and then you activate it. And um, it will, I believe that you, you then have to uh, make sure that your settings are the way that you want them to be. And then when you go into your posts, or it, when you're adding posts or if you're modifying posts, you will see all of the information that tells you what search terms are looking for. So I'm just going to go back in here and show you quickly. Okay, um, I'm, I'm, but I'm going to show you how to take it out. You go to your text. You find where your video is. Now remember, it starts with the iframe. And you just click this. Delete. And back to your visual. And you will see your, your video is, is gone. Now, I wanted to show you how to put it back in. Copy the embedded information post to your text or HTML. Make sure that you are not here or here because you are then interfering with computer language. And make sure that the uh, tags say iframe and at the beginning iframe at the end. And go, go into your visual. You now have your uh, video back. So now with the uh, Yoast, I'll just call it Yoast for short now. With the Yoast, it'll show you a, a number of things. One thing it'll show you your focus keyword. Now my focus keyword I put as post, and I believe that this keyword is um, a very competitive. So I know that I'm not really going to rank that high for this particular keyword. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, make sure that it appears where it needs to appear. It shows me that's orange and that's not really that's not really good and it would take a little bit more time to be able to show you uh, what we can do. 
but also with this, it's right here, it's called Edit Snippet. And this is basically the little bit of information that Google will show about your page when it comes up. So just click on the edit. And I have put this information in here right now, but you type in your information, you make sure you have your focus keyword in your description and your focus keyword in your title. It also should appear in the first paragraph as well. So this helps with engine optimization. I've already put the tags in and as you can see the readability is good. I've got a, a green here. I've got an orange here which isn't really that great but I would have to work on it more. This is just an example of what you can do with this. And I'm just going to update this. And the last thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to either number one, get the short link, which is right here. You could just copy this and put it into your, your uh, YouTube description. Or Copy this right. Sorry, somehow I managed to uh, click up there. Copy this link right here. Copy link address. Go to a new tab and type in tinyurl.com and take it and put it in there and hit any URL and see here right and get to your Go into edit your video and then put it in into your description. I use a program for my for editing my descriptions in which I'm going to do a tutorial about as well. But as you can see, I am just going to, and I already have put my little tiny uh, URL in here. And then anytime you are in your creator studio, anytime you are editing your videos, you need to save your changes because if you don't save your changes, you won't see this total going up for your score. Now I've talked about this before. This is called the uh, vidIQ and this will give you this will give you your score and um, I hope that I've been able to help you and, and I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and um, bye for now.